24 hours from now, fans will be flooding into Empower Field for one of the most highly anticipated shows to hit Denver. Taylor Swift has two shows here tomorrow night and Saturday, and this is Air Tracker 7 flying over the stadium this afternoon to show us a look at the progress here as they set up the stage ahead of those two big wow. shows. Wow, and meantime, fans, they are lining up. They've been lined up for hours to get their hands on Eras Tour merch. Some people, they've told us they showed up as early as 3 <laughs> o'clock this morning. They're braving the heat and those very long lines to get their hands on that official <laughs> Taylor Swift merchandise. Our Colette Bordelon is right in the middle of it all at Empower Field. Hi, Colette. Hey guys, yeah, security was telling me thousands of fans they've come through today. They're waiting right now on average at least three to four hours in this line to get that merch. But a marketing professor at DU, they say it's not about selling a shirt. This is about a connection between fans and an artist. And they say when it happens on a scale like this, it's beyond impressive. A packed parking lot. You don't even understand. The excitement We're is so excited. crazy. Filled with fans who have been waiting for this weekend. Oh man. Months oh. worth. Months. Lines stretch as far as the chopper cam can see. Everyone wants to get their hands on some merch. We got here at 3.30 in the morning and instantly made friends just because we all share a common love um, for her. We don't have to miss any of her songs. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to worry about them selling out. It's who brought them all here they would stand in any line for. And I love T Swizzler. <laughs> I love Taylor Swift. I'm a recent fan, but I love her. Taylor Swift is going on her Eras tour, and it's really special just because it's every piece of her life and everything that we've all kind of shared with her as fans. All of them saying it's worth it to make it here. Probably, Probably a few fun. grand we spent on the whole yeah. thing. Into a community flooded with friendship bracelets. You make a bunch, and you come here, and you trade with random people. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow. Mic drop. No, we have like I have 70. like 50. Do you really? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> we need to make more. For these fans, it's about the experience. And if I wasn't here, I wouldn't have met them. And the people they meet during a weekend they'll never forget. Guys, no matter all of the excitement out here at Empower Field right now, it is hot. I can tell you that firsthand. Denver Fire says they've responded to a handful of heat-related calls here. At least eight people have been treated by medics here at the stadium. We know of one person who was taken to the hospital. Live from Empower Field, Club Portal on Denver 7. Yeah. Well, I love their excitement. That's so, so exciting for them. Thank you, Colette. And here's a check of ticket prices. Um, we looked up the cost for one ticket for tomorrow night's show. One ticket, all right? We found one for just over $1,000 on StubHub. It's also all the way up in section 504, row 11. Was it too late to ask Colette to pick us up with a couple <laughs> a of shirts? Couple of shirts yeah. <laughs> a seat in that same area is going to cost you $1,300 on SeatGeek and on TickPick. The cheapest seat we found. $1,400 wow. and we're covering every angle of all the shows this weekend. We have a guide on our website right now how you can uh, help yourself better prepare before you go. You'll find tips on parking, public transportation, information about the bag policy as well at Empower Field. Just head to Denver7.com.